Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a haul video. And I didn't know if I was going to do this haul or not, but me and Jessica we had a live. I don't know when this haul video comes up, maybe two weeks ago. And there are asked if you wanted to have a haul and you seem to want a haul. So I'm going to do this haul video. And these are things that I bought like the whole year and um, now when I'm filming this this is the end of April and I'm still waiting for <laughs> some things but I'm doing this haul now so this is a pretty big haul and I will write down in the description the different timestamps for different things because I have split these into categories so we can start with the brushes and the most of you if you watch <laughs> the most of my videos I think you have seen almost all of these products but yeah the brushes I have bought two new Linda Holberg brushes I have these from before but I wanted a backup because these are two of my absolute favorite brushes from Linda Holberg I bought this one that is the 310 310 and this I usually use for a brush blush as a blush brush but I also like to use it as a contour so I wanted another one and it was 30% off of Linda Holberg when I bought these. And I also bought my favorite eyeshadow brush. I have four of these now. This is the Free Your Free. I love this brush so much. Then I also bought my first brush from Nabla. This is their highlighter brush. I... I like how it looks but it feels a little bit like flimsy so I I don't know what I think it's pretty soft and it's a very light brush but yeah I, I think it works good I only tried it with Nabla's own highlighters I think I want to try it with some other highlighters to see how how it is and then I also bought uh, in the beginning of the year I bought a brush kit from Hiccup. I have talked about these so much. So it is four. Okay, am I missing a brush now again? I don't. Mm, yeah, I do. <sighs> I'm missing a brush. I I don't know where it is. But it is both face brushes and eye brushes and this brush has become my new absolute favorite powder brush it's big soft and so so good i love this one i love big powder brushes so yeah i have used these in a get ready with me i can leave it up in the card or down in the description if you want to see and then it was also two face brushes that i really liked from this kit it's two, two small blending brushes. I usually don't like these small blending brushes, but I f like these two because sometimes I want to deepen down my crease and these are perfect for that. Okay, should we maybe take face things? So a little bit of concealers, primers, foundations and powders. We can... We can start with two primers that I bought. I bought the ELF Poreless Putty Primer. This finally arrived to Sweden. So this is like a paste or like a cream. It melts when you warm it up. I really like this one. I usually use it on my nose. I have some pores on my nose and I like it. And I think that was pretty expensive for being elf, but like in my head, elf is supposed to be the cheapest thing possible. I don't know why, but I really like this one. And I bought it from Bangerhead. It's a Swedish web shop or maybe Nordic web, sh web shop. I can't remember. And the other primer I bought, I love so much. It's the high glass primer from NYX. I have it in moonbeam i have it on today it gives such a nice glow and first when you put it on it's like okay i look like a tin man 
but then when you have your foundation over it just shines through a little bit and I think this is so so good I really 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 like it should we take foundations or con oh, we can take concealers I actually put three concealers. I don't know, like with base products, I went crazy this year because last year I didn't buy like one foundation and two concealers, I think. But now I have gone a little bit crazy. Um, I like all three of the, these and they are totally different. So I like all three of these, but they are so different. We can start with Glossier stretch concealer that is in a pot i like this but i have noticed when i have this on and then i set it with powder and then i put on mascara and this like dissolves my mascara it has to be this one because it doesn't happen when i have another concealer but this is a stretch concealer and I really like it. I think this is a concealer that I could use if I just want to brighten or if I want to look a little bit more awake in the morning. I really like it. I hate the container but I think it's good. And if I would do my makeup on a daily basis I think I would use this so much more because it is really... It does something, but it doesn't shows that you ha shows that you have it on. Then I also bought the Born to Glow concealer from NYX. I have this on today. I really like it. I hate the packaging. It's with this little sponge. I don't know if I. It feels like if I take this away, it's going to like pour out. But the thing I don't like, it's not that hygienic and. The cap is filled with concealer, so but I really like it. I think it's good, and I have this in fair, I think. Yeah, fair. And this from Glossier, I have in G12. I think it's the lightest one. But yeah, I really like this. I hate the packaging, but I don't know what to do with it. I think I just have to live with it. And the last concealer I bought is the Catrice One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer, and this... I think it was Nikki Raven that used this like a long time ago and I was like that looks amazing but then it wasn't available in Sweden and I forgot a little bit about it and then it came to a Swedish web shop Lyko so yeah I bought it and I really really like this one I have it in true ivory I think it's the lightest shade this is though it's really like one drop it feels like one drop can cover your whole face. And it says that it's full, full coverage. I would say no to that. It covers really good, but it's not like... It's not thick and it doesn't look cakey. But I really, really, really like this. I can really recommend it. It's cheap and it feels like it's a lot in this. How much is it? It's 7 mil. And this is... 3 5.3 so this is this is much more in this one than in the next one so yeah I really like this one but it feels like I'm never going to use this up because you really need only you really only need one drop and then we can take foundations and I have bought so far three foundations I have bought more but I, they haven't arrived yet so I have three to show you I have found a new favorite foundation. It's the Born to Glow from NYX. I have this on today as well. I have it in the color pale. It works really good for me. But the only thing I don't like with this foundation is the packaging. It's like a tube and this is a very liquidy foundation. So it just... It comes so, so much and you don't need that much. So I... It feels like it's a big, too big hole in this. I don't know how to like, don't get too much foundation. So yeah, this Born to Glow series, I really like it, but the packaging is not the best. And then I bought a new one of one of my absolute favorite cons 
foundations as well. It's the serum foundation from The Ordinary, but I bought a new color this time. I bought Very Fair Neutral. Before I had Neutral with Silver something. <laughs> I think I like this color more and this foundation, it is such a nice... It looks like skin and it's not cakey, you don't need to set it, it is just so so good. I really 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 like it. I bought the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick and this is not a full coverage, it's a medium coverage and I hope it is a little bit dewy so it's a stick foundation. I haven't tried this yet. I've tried a little bit with a color and it looks good and I bought in the porcelain. So yeah, I really hope that this will work. I really want to find a stick foundation that I like. I have tested out Revolution one. I was impressed like the first half of it, then the color didn't look good. We can go over to powder. I have talked a lot about this powder. It's the Nabla Smoothing Pressed Powder and I have the color light. I love this powder. It looks like this. This is my the best pressed powder I've ever used and one of the best powders that I have. I really, really, really like it. I have it on today. It set the foundation really good, but it doesn't make me dry and it doesn't... I don't look dry either. And I really, really, really like it. So I can really, really recommend this powder. Dun, 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 dun. Now I don't know what to talk about. So okay, we can go into blushes and highlighters. I have bought two sticks from Colourpop. I ordered these together with Jessica. So I bought one blush stick in Cooler. I like this one. Um, I have it in one of my shop my stash for February maybe it was. No, I, I think it was in January. I really like it. It's not the best stick blush I have. And I also bought a highlighting stick in Star Bright. Brit Bright, I never know. I like it, but it's not I don't think it's that good <laughs> that I want to buy a new another color. I think it's good. I'm happy that I have it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It is good. Nothing more than that. And then I also bought two from Nabla. I bought two of the new skin glazing. Skin glazer things. So I bought adults only to use it as a blush because I cannot use this as a highlighter. I tested it out in our live. I liked it, but I need better lighting when I put it on because I didn't see that much, but I like it, and then I also bought the Ozone highlighter. Finally, it's been out of stock so long. I really, really, really like this. This feels like a perfect everyday highlighter. It looks so, so good. Nabla does some of my absolute favorite highlighters. And then the last thing as blush and highlighter, I bought one of the most expensive makeup things that I ever bought and my first Natasha Denona product. So this is the Bloom palette. Paulina raved about this so much last year and also this year and also some other of my friends here on YouTube like Angelica and Jessica and Marlin I think have talked about this. And then Sephora had 20% off, so I bought it. I haven't used it yet. It's going in my shop, my stash for May that I haven't started with yet. But it looks like this. So up here you have two cream products. And I'm so looking forward to start to use this to see what the fuss is all about. I really hope it's good because cost a lot. Um, I think, should we save palettes to last? Yes. 
Maybe we should take... Or should we save lips to last? I don't know. I wish I could ask you. Um, I wish, maybe I should take lips now. Yeah, I can take lips now. What should we start with? I have bought one more of Linda Hallberg's Fantastic. I bought in Cult Red. A orangey red one. Haven't used it that much. Once or twice, I think. But I love the Fantastics and I love to have them on at summer because they have SPF and most of the colors I think I can just have on without any other makeup and that I really like on summer just to have something on my lips. So yeah, that I bought. And I am not going to swatch all the lipsticks because then I'm going to have lipstick stains all over my arm. I have also tried some new things from NYX. I bought the Candy Slick because they were on sale on H&M. And these are like super glossy liquid lipsticks. It's not like a gloss. They are really opaque and they stay on really good. But they are really, really sticky like a gloss. So I bought in S'mores Please and in Jawbreaker. I really like this Jawbreaker. It's a red bright one. And this S'mores Please, I like it as well. It's pretty coal toned. Why have I such a hard time with that? Really like them, but stick lips. I have trouble with it because it feels like it's get everywhere. And then I got the PR package from, from Kaleidos and I was so happy when they announced these and when I was getting them in PR. They released two new lip colors in January and to the New Year's in China. And these are red. And I think it's, it's one that is shimmery. I can never remember which one it is. I love these so Oh, so much. I have a swatch video with these two on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But I really like these. I love Kaleidos formula. It's it's like a stain. It's not like a liquid lipstick. It's more of a stain and so, so good. If you are a red lipstick lover like I am, try one of these. You will not regret it. Also, two new lippies from... Colourpop. I think one of these are discontinued. I bought another ultra satin lip in freaking frack. I think this is being discontinued. I like it. It was a little bit darker than I expected it to be. Okay, maybe I can swatch this. Um, and maybe a little bit browner. I don't think that Colourpop does a good job with the picture on their website. And I also bought the lipstick gold digger that I wanted for such a long time. And I finally pulled the trigger. So this is freaking frack and this is gold digger. I really like gold digger. And gold digger is a matte X. I really love those lippies. So yeah, I really like these. I like Colourpop's lipsticks very, very much, especially the matte lip sticks and ultra satin lip and then i bought a new brand from lipsticks for me i bought some velveteens from lime crime i bought four of them yeah i know um i haven't i've used two of these i think or have i used all four no uh, but i bought it feels like a should swatch i like this but it feels like they are very different formula on them. One of these I tried and it was so, so dry and then I tested another one and that was so so good. I really liked the Riot one and these dry down. They are going to be a little bit shimmy right now. So this is Riot, the one that I really really like. This, I think it's Wicked and that was pretty dry and pretty dark. And then it's Felines and Red Roses, I think. Felines and Red Roses. And yeah, 
this is my kind of colors, but I start to feel like I have a lot of <laughs> these colors in my collection right now. I think I need to do a declutter when it comes to lipsticks. And okay, this was the reason that I didn't want to swatch anything. Do you see this? It looks like I have a rash or something. And the last lippy, I have finally bought a new black liquid lipstick. I have one from Zombie Cosmetics. It's so freaking dry. Um, so I bought one from Nabla because I love Nabla's liquid lipstick and this is in black champagne and it's really black and I really like it. Nabla, I think they have my favorite formula when it comes to a matte liquid lipstick. Okay. I think we should, I have, now it's only eyes, things for eyes left, and eyebrows. Okay, I had one lip thing left. I bought the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Scrub, that is a lip scrub on in a lipstick form. I really, really like this. I use this morning and night, and I... I love it because it works. It scrubs the lips, but it gives them moisture as well. So I only need to use this before I had one scrub and one overnight lip mask. But this works two in one for me and I really love it. It's so, so, so good. And it's vegan. That is good. Should we go over to, I have two eyebrow things, maybe we can take them. I have almost used up my eyebrow. I used one from Linda Holberg for my eyebrows, one in the Infinite palette. But I still want to use it as an eyeshadow as well, so I was like, okay, I have to buy a new eyebrow product. And Anastasia Beverly Hills was on sale in Sweden, so I bought the Brow Powder Duo. I bought in taupe and I really really like this. I use the lighter shade in here and then the darker shade in the rest of my brows. This works so so good and it's easy to work with. It stays on really really good and I really like it. And then I also bought one from Glossier. This is a brow Brow gel. It's called Boy Brow and I bought it in blonde. I really like this one as well. I thought though it was going to be bigger because this feels like a little test or a sample size. I thought it was going to be bigger but it is a small brush which I love and it holds the brows in place really really good so I really like this one. Don't know if I'm going to continue by it because I think it was pretty expensive for being this small. Okay, and now we into eye things. And I have bought two new eyeshadow primers. I have used the Urban Decay Primer Potion for a long time now. It's starting to run out and it has started to not work that good. So I think I will throw it away. So I bought two new ones. This one I use right now. It's the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Really, really like this one. I have it on, on today and I have had it for one week, two weeks maybe when I'm filming this. Really, really, really like this. I think it's so, so good. And then I also bought one from NYX that is a waterproof eyeshadow primer. Proof it. I don't know why I bought it. Okay, I know because it was on sale and I was like, I take it. Haven't used this yet, but I have had one eyeshadow primer from NYX before that I really, really, really liked. And mascaras. I have bought two new ones. And my battery lamp is blinking. I wonder if I, how long it will survive. We will see. I bought the Major Pleasure from Nabla because I know a lot of people love this. And I do too. I think... It's really, really good. The brush is pretty big, but I think my eyelashes look really good. It gives them length and volume. So I like it. And then I also bought a mascara that Paulina 
talks a lot about you better work from essence. This was so cheap and she raves about this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't opened it, but we will see when the major pleasure, pleasure isn't, it's no more. I'm going to open this and see if it's that good that she says. Okay, and now I have two eye pens and one liquid eyeshadow and then it's all about the palettes. So the liquid eyeshadow is the newest, no, not the newest, one of the newest releases from Linda Hallberg. It's the Interstellar. It's a liquid eyeshadow that you can use on your face and on your lips as well for eyes, cheeks and lips. I haven't used this yet. I don't know why, but I'm going to. I've swatched it and it feels really good and it's going to be fun to use it. I don't know when to use it. I don't think I will use it that much on YouTube actually. We will see, but yeah, I love to support Linda Holberg. I just wish that I was on their PR list because this is expensive. And then I finally bought two of the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. I bought in um, Electric and Gotcha. Really like them. They are good pigments. They were cheap. The colors are really nice. So these two I really like and I get what people raved about. And I get why they are sold out on Beauty Bay like always. So yeah, really, really like these two. Okay, and now we have a lot of eyeshadow palettes left. Maybe not a lot, but we have some. So yeah, I can start with three that I have done videos on, all three of them. And it is the Cutie Palettes from Nabla, and I bought all the three new ones. So I bought Platinum. I really, really, really like this one. I didn't thought that this was going to be my favorite, but I actually think it is. So this is the Platinum one. It is so nice, and I really like the Nabla Cutie Palettes. Then we have the Metropolitan. This is my favorite packaging and it looks like this and this shade, amazing. So <laughs> the Metropolitan. And then the one that I like the least is the Wild and Berry. I thought I was going to love this, but I do not. And now I put my thumb in one of the shades. It looks like this. It is nothing wrong with the shades. I just don't like it as much as I thought I was going to, but I feel that all the cutie palettes work so, so good. I think it's the same quality of all of them and that is great. Then a palette that I haven't done a video on yet is the Strawberry Dream by Lunar Beauty. This is so big. I have it still in the box because I haven't done my first impression. And this I bought because people talk so good about it. It looks like this. I love the packaging and the moon is... Watch. You can feel it. It's sticking out. And the palette looks like this. It's such a big palette but I really like it. and. After testing the moon spell, I was like, okay, if the strawberry dream is as good, it's going to be so good. And this smells good. I usually don't like smells in makeup, but this has such a little smell. And also, I'm going to see if I can show you. Do you see the moons and the stars in the middle row? I love that. I am going to use this soon. I just really like Lunar Beauty's eyeshadow formula. I think it's so good. And it feels like maybe I should move a little bit so, you can, so I can show you the palettes. Then I have bought a new empty palette with shades in from Olethal. I have used some of these in my, on my channel and I still really, really love Olethal's shadows. I think they're so good and yeah, I really do like them. This was a palette that I put on 
put on put together myself. I can leave the shades down in the description. I love Lethal. They are so so good. And this is one of their new palettes, empty palettes. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. And you can take the shadows out because it's hole in the back. So yeah, this one. I really love Lethal. Now it's five palettes left. This palette I finally caved in and bought and it's the Smoke Session from Melt. I... I hate the front. I have... I hate the theme. The shades though, I love most of them. Um, was it this one that has hard... Some of them have hard pan. I can't remember which one. The mattes are really good as usual. Hard pants in at least one of the, or it's hard to pick up. And it feels like it's going to be a hard pan in one of the shimmers. And I hate that with Melt. I have three palettes with Melt and at least one of the shimmers in all of the palette has hard pan. Or is badly pressed so it's so hard to get them up. Don't like that about Melt but I bought this on sale. That's why I finally caved. Really like this half of the palette. It's really my style, but hate the theme. Hate that at least one shade is pure shit, to be honest. And I bought two new UVS Place palettes as well. We can start with one that I don't like that much. It's the Warrior Free. It looks like this. I'm not blown away by this palette. I really like the colors, but it's pretty similar to the Duse palette in my opinion and the Duse is not my favorite. I have done a first impression of this. I need to use it more but my first impression wasn't that good. I like the colors but it's missing some in the formula. I just don't know what but it's missing some. Um, I have to test it more to really really know. But then, the Nomad palette. I love this. It looks like this. This is... I love it. It's so, so nice. It's grungy and it's... <clears throat> Just love it. Uh, I love the look I did in my first impression with this. It's just... It just... I just love it. The only thing I don't love about this palette is that it is a different shape. Than the other nine pen palettes. Why you this place? Why? But I really like it. I I can really recommend this if you want to try you this place. If you haven't, then I bought two palettes from ASPT, and this is the last two things I'm going to show you. First up, the palette I've used today, Scarlet Dusk. It's a pinkish palette. I. I really love this palette. I really love this look as well. I think this is such a good... I want to use pink, but I don't want the pink palette. Palette. It's really, really good. I think it looks so nice. I love the size of this. It's small and handy, but it's still 12 colors. Like it. I love it so, so much. I think... I just want to play with this. I don't know why, but it really speaks to me, even though it's pretty much pink in it, but really, really like it. And then the one that I haven't used is the Vintage Dawn. Um, maybe I've used it when you see this. I don't know when this is coming up. This is more my typical style. It looks like this. I think it looks like a little sister to the flare palette if I'm going to be honest. Okay, I, I just want to dig into this. I thought I was going to use this first but then I had like a craving for pink so it was the Scarlet Dusk first. But this really have like everything I want. Like this Horizon and this one Serengeti and Golden Hour. So I don't have much to say about this, but it's going to be so fun to use it. And yeah, that was my haul video and the battery is not... Now it's 
blinking like crazy so I think I have to end this but yeah this is all that I have bought so far this year it's so much makeup I know it felt like I did good on my low by year last year and now it I have like went crazy I didn't want this to happen but now it has happened and I think I just have to deal with it I think I will try to do maybe monthly hauls or maybe two months and not four months in one so yeah I really hope you like this I know it's a lot this is my money I have money to pay for this so yeah I do not have to defend myself but yeah I really hope you like this and yeah I don't know if I, I, it doesn't feel like I'm good at doing whole videos it feels like I'm talking about everything and nothing I can't stand myself but yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one Bye! <laughs> I forgot to say bye. It's going great today.